Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the minimum of a quadratic function using the TI Inspire graphing calculator. So what we are going to do is we are going to plug this equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 3 into our graphing window. So let's grab our calculator. So if you look at your calculator, this is the home screen, you can choose option 1, a new document, or you can just add a graph to the new document. I'm just going to choose option 1 to start over and I'm going to click no. Um, if you have work that you're working with, you can always save it. If it's just a general thing, you can um, erase it. So I'm going to go to option 2, add graph. And I'm going to type my equation in. So remember our equation is 2x squared plus 8x minus 3. So I'm just going to hit enter and it will show us the graph. As you can tell right now, it goes below what we can see. This one only goes to negative 6.67. So one thing that you can do is you can grab it and change it so that you can see, but you want to make sure that you don't grab the, so I can grab my axes and I can move it this way. So I can actually grab it and move it. Or if you want to be more precise, like you actually want it to be a set value, you can go to menu and you can go to the window option four. Um, sorry, it went to the wrong one. Let me escape out of there. Sometimes on this it's a little bit harder so I'm going to hit option 4 and I want to choose option 1 the window settings. I'm not going to mess with the x minimum and the x max because they're okay. Um, the y minimum I'm going to go down a little bit lower down to negative 15 and my y max I'm going to leave okay at 8. So this is just another option if you wanted to set to a specific window you would go to the window setting. So now we have our graph we can see our lowest point. And what we want to do is use the graph, um, the graphing feature to find that lowest point. So if you hit the menu button and under option six, where it allows you to analyze the graph, it allows you to find either the minimum or the maximum. So we're going to choose option two, the minimum, and it's going to ask you for the lower bound. The lower bound is something to the left of your turning point. So I would go here and then I would go to the right and it automatically finds the minimum at negative 2, negative 11. If you can't see it, you can always hover over it and move it so that you can see the values. So that tells us that we have a minimum of negative 11 when x is negative 2. So we're going to go ahead and write that down. We have a minimum, sorry, I don't have my pen selected. Um, we have a minimum of negative 11 when x equals negative 2. So just to kind of recap, remember we did this on a graphing screen. Um, if you hit control and G, it will bring back your equation so we can go change it if we needed to. So we just put it in F1 of x. We just did 2 times x squared and we just use this x down here plus 8x minus 3. And then after we graphed it, remember that we adjusted the window. Under the window, you can either grab, um, it doesn't want to highlight now, so it, we can either grab the axes to make it to where we can see it. You can adjust it that way. You can also adjust the x-axis, move it in or out. Um, so that is one option. Or you can go to the menu and go to the window zoom, which is option four, and adjust the windows. And then remember to find the minimum, you choose option six, and then option two. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need me to cover additional topics, please let me know.